Okay, from this uh, forum post in the uh, in the jam room forums, uh, is, uh, this one's for Sean. Uh, he wants to know how to uh, uh, on the artist profiles. I need to see the date formed, uh, active, inactive, date split. Uh, so this is uh, pretty easy to do. Uh, we, the the way to do it is to use the form designer. And I'm just going to run through this now because uh, uh, you shouldn't need to hire a developer just to do this. It's not so difficult. Uh, on the timeline, uh, there we go. Well, this is my development uh, setup. Here's a profile I've got here, Tom, and we're going to add those uh, down into this section somewhere down here. Um, so, go in as the ad, logged in as the admin user right now. Uh, going to add those three uh, three sections. We're going to do it one at a time through the form designer. And what what were they? Uh, date formed. Profile date formed. Change the subset. That's probably pretty good. Create a new field. and active that's probably okay uh, we'll see how that goes save changes and the next one was uh, uh, active inactive Okay, you can choose whatever names you want. Labels the uh, the first thing that the band's going to see. An active type checkbox, and it's active as well. And the last one is, uh, what was it? Uh, date split. That's a date as well. And active. Okay, done. Uh, so let's uh, go back and see if those fields have turned up. Date formed. Uh, they formed in, uh, let's say, January. January 2013, they are active or inactive. You'll have to decide on, on what, what this means. Uh, is this band active or inactive? We'll call uh, active. Actually, let's change that. I don't know, we'll leave it as it is for now. Uh, so check means active. The wording's unclear. Um, January, date split. Oh, we can't have the date split if that. Uh, if they're if they're still active, so save changes. Okay, so uh, what's happened to our profile? Nothing yet. Uh, what we've got to do is we've got to uh, output those uh, those uh, data that data wherever we want, and we want to put them down here under the profile stats. Uh, so uh, my preferred way of doing that's from the IDE and. Uh, Profile stats. It's probably in a language file, but perhaps it isn't. Uh, and the the current skin is the uh, elastic skin. Uh, and I think we're on the one. That's the current one there. Profile header. That's what I'm looking for. 
uh, profile stats. So let's just make sure that I'm coming out in the right section here. Uh, does this come out? Pull this back down here. With any luck, that where does this come out? Well, turn up here. There it does. Okay, cool. That's where it comes out. And so we'll put something, uh, we'll grab this block. Copy it and get rid of that last one that I just put there. And now I'll put a different block underneath. Call it whatever we want. First thing we do is we put a debug in there. Grab this here, refresh that. Take that up a bit so you can see it. There, refresh. There's our debug console. Uh, no, active isn't a uh, split. Go. Profile date split, it's coming up there. Profile date formed, it's also turning up. So, in here, we can use that. I think there it is. There, that's even better. Profile date split hasn't got anything there. Profile date formed. Date format. Move that up a bit. There we go. Uh, that's uh, just got a date coming out there. Probably a table in there. Uh, formed. What do we call that? Uh, profile active. And, uh, split. Oops. Profile date split. Okay, and that should be it. Cancel. Refresh that page. There we go, they formed on this date. It's a pretty ugly date format. Uh, they are active on and they split. So yeah, you could probably use that active on uh, to, to to toggle a, an image, perhaps a check mark or a cross mark to say whether they're active uh, or uh, you could do anything once you just play around with the templates after that to get it looking pretty. Um, active. You could change that to take a look for other ways to, to look at this. If, see how other uses of that are done. Uh, there's a relative one. Let's try that. We'll add in that and see if that looks close to what we want. formed two years ago, they're active, they're on. Uh, if you want to know what the other things are, you can either look through the code to see what there are, or you can check out the documentation. Uh, I know there's a doc on that. Um, JR Core uh, Date Format. That's not the one.
I'm sure I did that, put that in there the other day. Uh, okay, we just got the documentation. And documentation. Development. Uh, so here's the here's a link to the page that you want to go to to find out all the different uh, time formats that you can possibly set that up with. You can format it in any way you like. Uh, so I'll leave that to you. That's how you do it.